Zena Systems Fragments. Flavors of Reaction. Nickland. Narrated by Skeptical Waves. Once it is accepted that the right can never agree about anything, the opportunity arises to luxuriate in the delights of diversity. Libertarianism already rivaled Trotskyism as a source of almost incomprehensibly compact dissensus, but the new reaction looks set to take internecine micro-factionalism into previously unimagined territories. We might as well enjoy it. From crypto-fascists, theonomists, and romantic royalists, to jaded classical liberals and hardcore constitutionalists, the reaction contains an entire ideological cosmos within itself. Hostility to coercive egalitarianism and a sense that Western civilization is going to hell will probably suffice to get you into the club. Agreeing on anything much beyond that? Forget it. There's one dimension of reactionary diversity that strikes outside and is particularly consequential, insofar as anything out here in the frozen wastes has consequences, the articulation of reaction and politics. Specifically, is the reaction an alternative politics, or a lucid, equal cynically realistic, anti-politics? Is democracy bad politics, or simply politics, elaborated towards the limit of its inherently poisonous potential? Outside insides emphatically with the anti-political camp. Our cause is depoliticization, or catalaxy, negatively apprehended. The tradition of spontaneous order is our heritage. The new reaction warns that the tide is against us. Intelligence will be required, in abundance, if we are to swim the other way, and we agree with the theonomists at least in this, if it is drawn from non-human sources, so much the better. Markets, machines, and monsters might inspire us. Rulers of any kind? Not so much.